So here I have three unique lists and what I'd like to do is combine them to find all possible combinations of these three. So as you can see I have a juice shop that I'm running and I have a base fruit list, a liquid base list, and the size list. So I want to find all possible combinations. There are 10 possible liquid bases, 10 possible fruits, and 4 possible sizes. So 10 times 10 times 4 is equal to 400 unique combinations. So evidently, if you were to manually find these, this would take very long. And that's not the purpose of our channel. We're here to automate things and make things simpler by using Microsoft Excel. So let's go ahead and let's show you how to create all possible combinations. What we're going to do is, first of all, we have to make sure that we've named all three tables. So I'm going to click on any table into table design. And over here, we can name the tables. So this first table, I'm going to call sizes. And then for the second table, I'm going to call it base fruit. And then for the last table, I'll call it liquid base. Now that we've named the tables, it makes it easier when we're identifying them in our subsequent steps. Now what I want to do is upload these into Power Query. So I'll click on any table, go into the data tab, into this button over here, which is uh, get data from table or range. And once the Power Query editor opens, I'm going to go on to close and load and close and load. And I'm going to do the same step for the remaining two tables as well. As you can see, this opens up a separate spreadsheet, but that's fine. So I'm going to repeat the process for the other tables as well, so that all three tables are uploaded into Power Query. Okay, so now all three tables are uploaded into Power Query, as you can see over here. So now it's time that we launch Power Query's editor, and we find the possible combinations of these three lists. So I'm going to go ahead into the Data tab, into Get Data, and then Launch Power Query Editor. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps a lot, and it also motivates me to continue making videos for you. So now that Power Query Editor is open, I'm going to go ahead onto my Queries panel and right-click New Query, Other Sources, and Blank Query. And in the blank query, I'm going to bring any table. So let's bring the sizes table to start off with. So equals to sizes. And I'll just click on this table, press enter. And here's the size table. Now what I want to do is I want to combine this with the base fruit table. So I'm going to go into add column, custom column. And after that, over here, I'm going to write down base fruit and press OK. And after that, I'm going to expand the column and I'm going to uncheck use original column name as prefix. What that's going to do is that's going to add this column name as a prefix to all of the rows. And I don't want that. So I'm going to press OK. And as you can see, we have all possible combinations uh, combining the lists of sizes and base fruits. Now we need to add the liquid base as well. So I'll go back into custom column. And after this, I will call the um, liquid base column, liquid base, OK. And I'm going to same thing, expand this, make sure this is unchecked, press OK. And there we go. So we have a list of all possible combinations. And remember earlier in the video, I said that there are uh, 400 possible combinations. Look down here, it says 400 rows. So we know that everything has loaded up properly. Now, one thing I'll do just to make it look a bit more simpler is I wanted to show the base fruit and then the liquid base followed by the size. So I'm going to grab this and move this column to the very end. Now, in my case, I'm not going to be doing any more uh, processing with the data. So I'm going to go into Home tab, close and load two, and I'm going to select uh, existing worksheet and I'll put the table right over here and I'll press enter. And as you can see, the table has loaded up. So now I can go ahead and make any changes that I want. So in my case, I'm just going to give it a title as well, just so that it's simple to identify. So I'm going to call it uh, answers juice shop. And then I'm going to go ahead and merge it and make it a little bit larger as well. And there we go. So we've went ahead and we've Using these three lists, we've found out all possible combinations 
400 combinations and we've created the menu. So I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you shortly on the next one.